Okay, without no sleep, there is no 6 a.m. morning routine video. There, There is none of this, okay? So I'm just shouting out the supplements that made this possible. The magnesium and the sleeping tea will help you get like a deep sleep. Okay, so starting off at the treadmill, I have the incline at 2.0 and I stay on here for 10 minutes but I take the speed up over the course of the 10 minutes so by the time I finish I'm jogging and then I start my dynamic these warm -up. are called inchworms they're really good for shoulder stability and I'm just warming up all the joints in the body you know getting my core warmed up and especially since I'm going to be focusing on arms and back today this is a really good warm-up these are called bird dogs. I know they look simple, but they really test your core stability and strength. And I just make sure that I extend my arms out as far as I can and my legs out. I just think about lengthening as much as I can through both my arm and my legs at the same time. And while keeping my core, you know, tight. Medicine ball slams. So with these, I really just try to focus on not having any breaks. So I try to take no pauses in between the slams. And I really try to use as much force as I can. And I also try to go up as high as I can um, when I'm like lifting before I do the next slam. One of my goals is upper body strength, y'all. And these was killing me, but if you do want to make them more challenging, I was doing 10 slams and then doing alternating arms. Okay, shoulder abduction. You want to start with the weight by your thighs and you want to lift up slowly. If you notice that your upper body is rocking back and forth a lot, then that's a sign you may want to take the weight down because it may be too heavy. Another thing is always make sure your core is really engaged and kind of bring your hips in underneath you so you have a neutral spine that's gonna make this exercise so much more effective girl I promise you next i'm doing some hammer curls because my biceps don't really get targeted a lot you know i do a lot of compound work and that ends up working on my back and shoulders a lot um but I really wanted to, you know, increase my whole arm strength. So I'm isolating that muscle right now. And with these, just make sure you have your core tight, shoulders down and back and move through the movement slowly. Just make sure you are actually pushing the weight, you know, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, we done for the day. I would say I'm in the strength phase. I went from stability to strength phase. I'll probably stay in this phase for my upper body for at least two more weeks. And then I'm going to the You know, we're trying to switch things up. Well, that's how you, I do it. At least I try to replace like less healthy things with better alternatives. Some oatmeal. So I'm gonna put the fruit in the oatmeal, and then I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do with the hash browns in a second. All right, all right. I know you said I'm gonna go, but trust me, put some of this. This. And then I'm gonna put capers on it too. Good morning, girl. So I'm not just being cute with the montage. And okay, then we have it. I do. They help me train to failure on leg day. So the cling wrap, you'll see that in my fit vlog. I do that hack, but I do that to sweat more. It warms up my core faster and just 
makes me want to work harder. I don't know what it is about it. <laughs> and then the pre-workout, I have to let that marinate. I be sitting there sipping on it, thinking to myself, just looking like a whole weirdo. Sometimes I talk to myself, but it helps me form that mind muscle connection. And that really helps me slow down and it helps me stay in the present moment. Squats can be a good gainer exercise, but I use them more for agility. So you won't see me putting the most weight on here or trying to get the lowest. I'm keeping my spine neutral. I'm keeping my core engaged and I'm taking about four seconds through each rep and making sure I really push up through my heels. And yeah, that is how I do my squats. Okay, with deadlifts, the number one thing I noticed is that your shoulders just normally, naturally want to roll forward. So what I do to stop that is I just imagine like a quarter between my shoulder blades and the back. And I keep my back flat like a table as I lower. And what that does is just like sends a crazy chain unlock of the form in your body. You're just gonna feel everything else from the hips lower way more intense and it's going to make sure that you are hinging the hips from the right positioning and that you're actually using the right muscles that's intended so that is what i do for deadlifts this is like a core exercise but it works on the waist as well so you just want to make sure that you stay leaned over Keep hinging at your hips to get your back over as much as you can and then make sure you're twisting to your full ability side to side and these are really good for the core and the waist. So for these I make sure I have no space between my back and the back of the seat so that helps you interact your core and you know what that does it's gonna flow down to the glutes and just make everything chain reaction. So that's the number one tip that I have for the leg press. I love working on core and doing more body weight and weighted stuff on leg days because it just doubles the effect, I swear. But um, here I'm doing the ab wheel and I make sure I'm rolling out as much as I can and kind of like let your hips fall so you get that full weight on you. And that, I just had to pause the video here. It's super gross, but that cling wrap works. And this is proof. <laughs> Hip extension. Okay, girl. So with these, you will notice that your back might want to just fly back with you like your back might want to arch as you kick back so the main thing that you could do to feel these better is to make sure you bring that back in kind of keep your back in a neutral position and then only let the leg kind of press against it kind of like a lever so that is hip extension and yeah Kylie girl. <laughs> yeah, another workout is done. Done, done, done. And I, it was too early for me to have my protein. Like I ran out of my jar of protein, the ISO pure that I normally use. So I'm gonna run up to Whole Foods. It's at the street. 
get me my post workout in at ASAP, ASAP, because that's important. My battery is about to die though, so I'll say whatever I get or take a picture of it and have it in the description box, whatever like that, so y'all can know what I be using. But yeah, that is leg day for ya. Let me see y'all later. I do use ISO Pure Protein. It'll be in the description box. Um, if I'm more on a cutting, leaning out type of thing, and then if I want to bulk up, which is what I'm going towards in the future, I'm going to start using um, Syntha 6. We got the salmon right here. All that is butter. Yes, I know, I know. But listen to me, girl. Oh, I swear to God. Only when I decide to start recording right outside my window. Like, all right, can I get a babysitting fee, please? I'm trying to take the thumbnail picture before I go in, but let me explain what we got going on here. It's asparagus, uh, mushroom, and onion. This is some Alfredo pasta, just a little coarse kind that you can whip up. And this is, of course, some salmon with some seasoning and butter so for me I'm just gonna explain this how I explain it I do have a solid base of nutrition but I am NOT a nutritionist all right you're gonna want some fat on top of the muscles okay do what you do but please have some please have some fat on top of the muscles okay girl this is what's gonna create the BBL part girl that's what gonna make it jiggle that's what's gonna make it you know, throw it in a circle. That's what's gonna make it move. That's what's gonna make it shake. Like you, you know, sat on the table or something. So, yeah. Good morning. It's almost six, so I just wanted to go over what we're gonna do today. Um, this is my alternate leg. I have two leg day routines, so this one kind of like hits a different angle. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what we gonna do. I'm gonna do black coffee, like this beetroot juice stuff. And I noticed people here be a little funny about pre-workout, like nobody does pre-workout here. We use the grounding of the earth to surface our energy, whatever. I, girl, I'm gonna need something. Okay, so the key to these is staying really low and then making sure that when you do jump out that it's really forceful and that you're aware of the angling of your knees and everything. So keep your knees pushed out and in line with the toes as you jump out and jump in and jump out. And these are going to have you crying in the car, girl. So I'm also super setting these, which means you go right after the next exercise. Before it, you don't take a break. And with monster walks, so keep your whole foot in contact with the floor. Like you have a magnet on your foot and just draw out half moons in front of you. That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> and you definitely will feel that like towards your outer thigh. Then we're going to go right back into the low jumps in and out with the resistance bands. Okay, for hip abduction, make sure that you, I always rotate my hips forward a little bit. And then 
it's really easy to just blast off Jimmy Neutron and have your whole ankle up by your ear. But you just really want to take your time about four seconds and really lift up slowly. I notice when I keep the space pretty narrow, meaning I only lift up about 35, 40, 45 degrees at the most. That's when you're going to get the most feeling out of it. That's when you're going to get the most interaction. So that is what I do for hip abduction. Oh, and don't be afraid to pick up some weight, girl. Put that five down. Okay, I had to check myself, girl, because that wasn't enough weight. I needed to grab another one because I knew by how fast I was jumping out that there wasn't enough resistance. So with these, you just want to keep the jumps narrow. You want to keep them at about shoulder width. And I'm just going to go through those. Okay, hip abduction machine. For me, I always make sure my back is completely flat, flush to the back of the seat. And then I only go out about 35 degrees and then come back in fully and then go out another 35. I kind of give my muscles a second to relax and then contract them again. That works really well for me to like tire my muscles out to fatigue. I noticed that, so that's what I do with it. And then I'm just gonna do some stretching. I did the foam roller. Now I'm just doing some static stretching to cool down. And that wraps up this video, this 6 a.m. week. I'm gonna be doing more of these because I just noticed I got so much more done throughout my day. And if there's any questions or anything, please let me know. All the workouts will be linked in the description box and I hope to see you back again next time.